have a big crush on like three people. If any of those three individuals were to hit me up and be like, he <laughs> salta, I hop. They don't know I exist. But you know what? It's all right here because this right here, it's powerful. That's why my forehead's so big. Kidding. No, there's only a couple men in this life that I'm just like, mm, the things I would do to you. <laughs> Yeah, I know I'd be talking so much. I know I'd be talking so much about, yeah, like, Miss Independent. If any of these three individuals were to hit me up, I got weak knees. I'm, <laughs> I'm answering, I'm going, I'm hopping on a, a Uber and I'm going. Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Ty X Worldwide. Now check this out. When a woman really likes you, she's going to move fast with you. She's not going to play no games. Matter of fact, Let's go to the TikTok video. She said if the three guys she like hit her up, she'll do all kind of things to them. She'll be weak to her knees. This is what happens when a woman really likes you. She gonna wanna get physical with you. She not gonna play no games with you. She not gonna make you wait and say, oh, we gotta get to know each other. No, that's all bull crap. Women don't gotta get to know the guys they like. Women don't gotta get to know the guys they physically into. So if she telling you, oh, we gotta get to know each other more, we gotta take it slow. No, don't fall for that, bro. When a woman likes you, she's gonna wanna move fast. Don't think that all oh, women just innocent and don't like to do those type of things. They don't think about that stuff. No, they do, but they gotta be with the guy they like. This is why I tell you guys, stop wasting time. Stop sitting up there texting her all the time and trying to warm things up. No, get straight to the point. Let's meet up. And if she's not trying to do that, oh, I'm busy or I, I got a busy week, I can't, I gotta do things, cut her off because she's playing games. Games. The women don't play games with guys they like. I already know. Once a woman hit me with that, I gotta get to know you more. We gotta take things a little slow. We gotta we, 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 we gotta warm up a little bit. I cut them off immediately. Cause you're not about to waste my time. You shouldn't be dealing with no chick that's not physically into you. Stop wasting your time. Ain't nothing to talk about. She don't get no dap. She don't get no hug. She don't get no convo. She don't get nothing. You you gotta be stingy with these women that don't like you. If she's not giving you that box, then you don't deal with her. You don't, y'all don't need, there's nothing to talk about. You better ignore the mess out of her. I already told you guys, I'm, I get straight to the point. I don't waste time. As soon as I meet you, what's up, what's good, let's meet up. It's just like that. You're not trying to do that? Bye. I weed them out super fast. I don't play games with women. As soon as I meet them, let's get it in. We're not about to play these little goofy games. When a woman look at you, she already know within 10 seconds if she want to sleep with you or not. She already know. So all you're doing is just wasting time. Sitting up there talking to her, wasting the whole week away. Nah, nah, nah. Stop playing games. Get straight to the point. A woman know off rip when she look at you, she want to sleep with you or not. It don't take women weeks and months and, and all. It don't take them that much time. They already know instantly. Time is your most valuable asset. You don't want to be sitting up there wasting it on a chick that don't even like you. This is why I tell you guys, I like to weed women out. I don't like to waste my time. I don't like any of that stuff. I like to get straight to the point. Get straight to the point. And see, when you do this, a lot of women that don't like you won't even hit you up no more. They, they will just avoid you because they know that you're not about to play games. They know that you ain't the one to go for that. They know they just can't sit up there and just text you and be no friend with you. And, and do, they know they can't do that with you. I keep telling you, my approach to life is very direct. I don't waste time. I don't goof around. I get straight to business. I ain't got time to be joking. Ain't no hee hee ha ha. The only time there's going to be some hee hee ha ha is when you riding me reverse cowgirl style and you yee haw on me. That's the only time. I'm not playing no games with you, shorty. I'm just strictly right to business. If he wanted to be dating you, he would be doing everything in his power to be dating you. Women are fed this myth from childhood that, oh, he's mean to you because he likes you. In our adolescence and early adulthood, we tell ourselves it's playing hard to get. But I think with close enough scrutiny, it's really easy to discern that actually boys are really, really nice to girls that they like and really, really not to girls that they don't. Whether consciously or subconsciously, a man has decided how he feels about you and how seriously he's going to take you within the first few times he's met you. That does not mean he's going to communicate that with you. So if you're hitting it off and you guys have a lot of fun, but he's just too busy with work right now, he doesn't want to date you. Or he's just got a lot on his plate, he doesn't want to date you. Or my personal favorite, he's just not ready for a relationship, he's not ready for a relationship with you. I want to be very clear that this is a 0% indicator of your value. The only thing it's indicating is his ability to value you. I'm not justifying or explaining this behavior. I don't understand it. All I know is that it's true, and the person that's right for you and takes you seriously won't waste your time by making you wonder. They will bend over backwards. They will change their habits, their career, their location, if they want to. Guys, listen up. 
Women want the guys that don't really care about them like that. They want the guys that don't pedestalize them, that don't make that much time for them. They want the guys who just not there for them. See, they'll sit up there and tell you all day, uh, if a guy don't show you that he wants you, get rid of him. See, what they say and what they do are two different things. Yeah, they'll say that it sounds good, but that's not really how they operate. You see, women will get a guy that's always there for her, that give her everything she wants, but she won't even value that dude. That's not the guy that she really wants. She'll turn that down and go be with the guy that don't do any of that. What you have to say about women is what they say say and what they do are two totally completely different things they'll tell you oh yeah that's the guy we want uh we want nice guys we want those type of guys that's that's bull crap they don't want that they just say that so they can get a benefit from that but they'll turn around and go hook up with a dude that they really know that don't want them that's the guy they want they want that guy to commit to them they want that guy to be the guy that they don't want this is how women operate guys just remember this one thing when you're dealing with women Less is always more. Unpopular opinion, okay? You can argue with me in the comments, but this is from my experience as a woman, okay? We all know the narrative of they always come back. Like, the guys, they always come back. And they do always come back. But I feel like I have a different reason for why they come back than, like, the narrative that we see all the time. And the narrative that we see all the time is that they're coming back because... They went out there and they miss you and like all this stuff. But really, I think they always come back because they thought they could do better. And then they go out and nobody else f wanted them. Like they literally went out there like all the and they get out and the don't want your ex-boyfriend. They don't want him. He was lucky to get you. And then he crawls back because he's like, oh, maybe I can't do better. And then he crawls back. And that's my new take. Guys, listen up. Never go back to your ex. I don't care what the situation is. You do not go back. Because once you go back, she has all the power. You just showed her that you couldn't do better without her. You showed her that you don't have no options, that you ain't getting no box like that. And guess what? Once you go back to her, she going to use that as leverage. She going to use that as, oh, I'm better than you, and I'm the best thing that happened to you. And she going to throw that in your face. What you got to understand is that when a woman leaves you, she think that she going to do better, and you going to do worse. So once you go back to her, you just proved her point. This is why women get so frustrated when they see you leveling up after they broke up with you they see you doing your thing you got different women now you making moves and it pisses them off because they thought the opposite was gonna happen bottom line guys never go back to your ex just focus on yourself and continue to level up point blank period all right it's your boy ty x worldwide man i hope you got the message in this video just like all my videos there is a message in there you already know what to do man like comment subscribe Get with y'all another time.